Many thanks for watching. In this short video, we will cover the in hand IR611 router. We will walk through what comes in the box, as well as walk you through the different parts of the router itself. We will start by covering what comes in the box. In addition to the router, there may be up to four antennas in the box. Two are for your cellular connection, while the other two would be used to connect any Wi Fi enabled devices if you have opted for a Wi Fi enabled model. There are two different types of cables provided. One is to power your device via an AC based connection. There are DC powered options available as well. And the other is an Ethernet cable for connecting another device. Finally, there are some mounting screws and SIM accessories to aid in your setup. To start, there are two Wi Fi connectors to attach an antenna. This is applicable if you have opted for a Wi Fi enabled model. The SIM slot is where you would insert the SIM card. Using a small tool, you would press the SIM card pop up button to reveal the SIM slot. The IR11 shows you the signal strength using three lights on the front. If none of the lights are on, there is no signal being detected. If LED light 1 is on, this indicates a weak signal, and you are advised to change locations or to use a more powerful antenna setup. If LED 1 and 2 are on, the signal is fair. Think 2 to 3 bars on your phone, and it is likely sufficient for most applications. Ideally, you want to see all three lights on, as this indicates a very strong cellular signal is being received. Before moving on to the main LED lights, we will highlight the reset button, which is used to reset the router when it is not acting as desired. The LED lights are an ideal way to see what is going on with your device. There are six on the front of the router. Five of the lights work together as a single unit to let you know when certain activities are taking place. We will cover the final light, the WLAN light, on its own. When the power light and link light are on, and the remaining ones are off, this indicates the device is powering up. When the power light and warn light are on, and the status and link lights are blinking, the device has successfully powered up and is starting to connect to the cellular network. When the device has succeeded in connecting to the network, it will turn off the warn light. At some point during the deployment of your device, you will likely decide to upgrade the firmware. When this is occurring, the lights will show the power light as a solid red, and the other lights will blink to indicate the update is currently in progress. When the upgrade has completed, it will indicate this by having the power, warn, and link light remain on, while the status and error lights will blink. As we mentioned earlier, there's a WLAN light to indicate the status of your Wi Fi network. When the light, which is green, is on, this indicates you have enabled Wi Fi connectivity. The light will be off when it is disabled. The light will also blink in conjunction with the other five lights to indicate that you have successfully reset your device. There are two main cellular antenna connectors to attach your chosen cellular antennas. The first is the main connector, while the second helps to create a very desired cellular signal environment called diversity. You should always use two cellular antennas. There are two ports that can be used to connect devices to the router to provide internet access. The first is the Ethernet port, which is ideal for connecting many computing type devices, while the serial port is commonly used in many industrial applications. The final thing we will highlight is the power receptacle. You have the option of using either AC or DC power for this device, depending on what best suits your application needs. Many thanks for taking time to watch this short video. We love to hear from you and welcome you to reach out to us using one of the methods on the screen.